Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Just a little over a year ago, I posted my video, my initial review video of the m p 22. Didn't get to do a whole lot of shooting in that video. I spent the majority of that video just going over the features and things of the pistol. Now, if you'd like to know more about this pistol, that's the video to watch. Today, we're just gonna do a bunch of shooting and just have some fun. I will say that since that time, this pistol has become by far my most used 22 LR pistol, by far. I shoot this thing way more than I shoot, well, any other pistol that I've got. I just, I shoot it a lot. It's had a lot of rounds put through it. I'm not much of a, a rounds counter kind of guy, but I shoot pretty much all bulk pack ammo with this gun. So I know that each box is 500 to 550 rounds, depending on what I'm using. And I know I've went through a bunch of boxes. So had a lot of rounds through it. I will say that the only, only ammo that's given me any trouble at all on this gun was the Federal American Eagle. It runs everything else just, just fantastic for a, for a 22. You're gonna have the occasional uh, bad round in 22. You're gonna have the occasional under underpowered round, bad primer, you know, that stuff happens with rim fire ammunition. But overall, I'm talking, this thing, it eats this stuff up like candy. Now the American Eagle stuff did get a lot of uh, bad rounds that wouldn't fire for some reason. It's the only ammo that I've had do that. And I sincerely believe that it's just that I got a hold of a bad lot. This is older stuff and a friend and I, we get together each Wednesday night and run drills with our 22s. It's just a, it's a cheap way to stay in tune. And that, I use this pistol for that. And he had some American Eagle over there. And I said, oh, you know, I want to try some of that and see if it'll run it. And it ran his just fine. So I think this is just a bad lot. Haven't, haven't tried it in my other pistols to know for sure if, if it'll run in anything else or not. But by and large, this, this pistol will run with anything. Now it's a perfect companion to my M&P 1522. Just, uh, I forgot it out today. I was doing a little shooting with it this morning, but just uh, other than running drills and staying in tune, it's just the ultimate fun gun package is a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 and an M&P 22. Whether you get the full size like I've got or the compact, both are great pistols. I don't have a compact here, but I do plan on picking one up just because. So a uh, couple of changes I made before we get started shooting. I do want to mention I put a Dawson Precision front sight, and this gun is clear. Put a Dawson Precision front sight, fiber optic sight, and that thing just, man, it just, it just glows, let me tell you. There's no, there's no looking for your front sight when you pull up with that. It's just, uh, it, it's on fire. So highly recommend the Dawson Precision Front Sight. And I have removed my thumb safety and installed an anti-walk uh, AR-15 hammer pin in there just to clean it up and make it look clean rather than having that, uh, that square that's in there, that square pin, it kinda, kinda looks just Aesthetically, it just kind of looks bad if you if you just remove the thumb paddles, but you know some people don't care about that But I decided to put an AR-15 anti-walk pin in there to replace it and I do I've got a video on that Just remember anytime you mess with the safety on a gun, you know, you're liable for that. So I Did keep my safety. I still got it here just in case uh, I ever did I don't plan on ever getting rid of this pistol, but if I ever did or sell it or whatever i can or maybe i need to send it in for warranty work something like that i can throw this safety back in here so it's not not a big deal that's really all i wanted to talk about i want this video to mainly be about shooting so we're gonna we're gonna shoot this sucker some we'll shoot it at some distance we'll shoot some groups with it we'll shoot uh i'll run a couple of drills with it for you guys and just show you show you some of the stuff we do with it but there are very few pistols that you see me review here on the channel that I actually would endorse. The, most of them, I go over the pros, the cons, what I like, what 
I don't like doesn't necessarily mean that you'll not like the things that I don't like or you'll like the things that I like. I just kind of go over it, share my opinion with it, and move on. This is one pistol that I would absolutely endorse. Uh, highly recommend you pick one up. So let's get to shooting. All right, so I said we'd run a drill or two with this pistol today. I've got a couple of steel targets set up down here on the left to kind of mimic a two to the body, one to the head drill, failure drill, Mozambique drill, Mozambique U drill, whatever you want to call it. But nothing too serious here. I'm shooting 10 yards. Everybody that you watch runs this drill a little bit different. Uh, most people run it on cardboard and they're up close. Have fun with it, do it any way you can. No need to invest a fortune into your range. I'm just using a couple of steel plates stacked on top of one another. Got my shot timer out. Use my shot timer more or less as just a buzzer to, to, to go. I don't read too much into my times or, or I try not to. And never compare your times to somebody else's times and, and get all caught up in that because it, it'll eventually put you off. Some people are just naturally fast and if you're constantly comparing yourself to somebody else's uh, uh, draw or speed, you'll eventually get put off by it and it'll stop being fun. So if you're going to compare, compare your own times, try to beat your own times. That's, uh, that's what you're trying to do. I'm trying to get better. So I like to start from the surrender position with my wrist above my shoulders. And you would normally want to do this with your pistol carried the same way you carry your everyday carry pistol. I'm not doing that today. I've got this outside the waistband holster from Blade Tech for the MP22. I normally carry inside the waistband. I've got this jacket on to kind of at least have something to, to practice from concealed. So 
I don't know. We'll see what we do here. Do it a few times. It's a really fun little pistol to, to try stuff with. We'll do it one more time here. All right, so a lot of fun just to get out and run drills with this pistol. Again, you noticed I didn't look at my times because I don't really care about my times at this point. Just out here having fun. Let's try something else. All right, just for the heck of it, let's shoot a five shot group for accuracy here at 10 yards. And this is just the federal bulk pack stuff. So, don't know how good you guys can see that. Did get them all in the orange there, so that's all right. That's going to bring us to the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Can't say enough good things about the M&P 22. It's just been a fantastic little pistol for me. So glad I made that purchase. Want to thank you guys over on Patreon for helping me out. I would not be able to upload weekly videos if not for you guys. I, I don't know if you know just how big of a help you actually are. Yeah, I'd still be here. I'd still be uploading videos, but it would be more like once a month instead of once a week. So. Just, just thank you for that. So that's all I got. And I'll talk with you guys again soon.